Well, the city's controversial red light camera program is back online, but this evening there are new questions about a vocal camera supporter. Ivy News News reporter Ted Ober joins us live with that story, all new at 6. Ted? Dave, in the back and forth over red light cameras in Houston, there is tonight a question over just who you can trust. ATS, the camera company, was looking to keep the cameras on across the state, not just Houston, that they have their cameras in. So they hired nearly a dozen lobbyists in Austin, including a well-known Houston police officer in a deal we only found out about once it was over. We know the mayor supported red light cameras. We know the Houston Police Department did too and it was clear for months the Houston Police Union wanted to keep the cameras in town as well. We have a serious problem with people running traffic lights in, in the city and this is a, a tried and true technology that's very effective. It's helped us and we need to keep it in place. What we didn't know was that Mark Clark, the executive director of the police officers union, was put on the camera company's payroll a few months after that interview. If he really believed that, maybe he ought to do it for free. He didn't do it for free. According to state records, Clark was paid at least $10,000 by ATS to fight a possible statewide camera ban in Austin. It wasn't for work in Houston, but still, camera opponents cry foul. People naturally, and rightly so, trust when a police officer tells them something that they can be trusted in what, what they're saying is true. Now, when that influence is being uh, bought and paid for, uh, then the public can be deceived. Clark, who is also a Houston police officer, doesn't deny his role. In fact, he says he did a good job on his own time. It was an extra job, not against any law or policy. He said it was approved by the police department. But there's absolutely zero conflict, uh, none at all. Uh, the fact that anybody uh, from the opposing side is raising it is just, it's a, it's a smoke screen. While Clark did disclose his deal to the state, the city, and the union, he never said anything publicly. So when he told Eyewitness News viewers last weekend... I mean, we're glad that the cameras are back on. They should have never been turned off to start with. You, nor us, had any idea he had worked for the company at the same time he worked for the union and the city. Clark and the company say their work together is now over, but so is the legislative session. No need for any more lobbyists.